Let's talk about photographer Laura Aguilar. Laura Aguilar started photography in the 1980s with help from her brother John Lee Aguilar, who was taking darkroom classes in high school. Aguilar was so entranced by capturing photos as a result of her own dyslexia diagnosis. Creating art was the only way Aguilar could truly express how she was feeling. When words couldn't articulate her emotions, she would turn to the camera. Aguilar created work that made people question their gaze and what it was like to be a queer, fat, and Chicana woman making art in the late 20th and early 21st century. Although Aguilar started capturing photos in the 1980s, she was not a distinguished artist until much later. Critics and viewers alike saw her body as inappropriate and tasteless. They were not able to look past the fat female nude. Aguilar's work is now seen as before its time and revolutionary in the reconstruction of the female gaze. The art world is used to seeing the ideal heterosexual male gaze, which includes white, skin-to-bone women posing only for the eyes of male attraction and domination. But Aguilar is twisting that narrative and is creating art through the lens of a queer, Chicana, fat woman. Which is just about everything the male gaze is trying to covert. The first piece of art that put Aguilar on the map is a triptych titled Three Eagles Flying, created in 1990. This triptych is communicating how Aguilar feels about being from Mexican heritage but living in America. In this triptych, she is caught between two worlds. With the American flag on one side, the Mexican flag on the other, you cannot help but feel the divide. But once you look at the middle image of Aguilar's nude body, you see that she is fully wrapped in both flags and a noose around her neck. She is completely intertwined between these two worlds. Not only is this about her struggles with being Latina and American, it is also a constant conversation on the fat female nude, which is seen through Aguilar's bodies of work. Aguilar's nude self-portrait series were heavily inspired by the works of Judy Dater, who often took nude self-portraits surrounded by nature. Aguilar's self-portraits took on another narrative, Aguilar was a Chicana and fat woman taking photos in the American West, which undoubtedly has a heavy connotation. Aguilar's nude body is becoming one with the land in the American West. This land that once belonged to Mexico before the Mexican-American War. Aguilar purposely framed these pieces of work to make a space for the often unnoticed and shunned bodies of large, brown women. Aguilar additionally captured the queer Latina community nearby. The first series, titled Latina Lesbians, was a collection of black and white images inspired by the works of Jim Goldberg's 1977 series, Rich and Poor, where Goldberg had his subjects write comments about themselves on the final printed images. Aguilar also adapted that technique into her own work, capturing the Latina community around her and herself. Within that series, she had a self-portrait titled Laura. She states, I am not comfortable with the word lesbian, but every day I am more and more comfortable with the word Laura. This was the first time the artist ever addressed her own sexuality within her work. Her more well-known queer series, titled Plush Pony, is about a Chicana queer bar in LA and the people within it. This series is important because it shows the wide array of lesbian identities and not just the kind that mainstream media likes to show. 
Aguilar was able to show the butch and femme identities that are heavily placed within the lesbian community in the 1990s. Although Aguilar is not with us anymore, passing in 2018, she was able to create work that transcended her own physical existence. Aguilar will forever be remembered for her strides in creating art when being a fat, lesbian, Chicana woman was not what the art world wanted to see. <laughs>